So based on the current construction of the Yankees starting rotation, as we know, I mean, I've said it for a year now, they need another starting pitcher. I hope they get it at some point, but um, there's no sense in me complaining, but they're not doing it. We don't know what that's going on. I mean, Cash made a couple of trades the last couple of days, and we had no idea either one of them was coming. So, And they didn't get marginally better in a couple of different areas, but we'll, go to, we'll save that for another discussion. But anyway, you know, as it looks right now, you got Cole, probably Severino, Montgomery, Tyone, and we don't know. Maybe Nestor Cortez, Domingo Herman's on the 60-day IL. But this is why I stress the importance of having long relief guys. Okay, because, you know, we don't really know whether Severino, who's being thrown to the Wolves now as a number two, is going to remain healthy. Okay, and guys like Tyone and, and even to, to a degree Nestor Cortez, they have not built up to the point where they can get to consistently throwing six, seven innings on a regular basis. That's why guys like Michael King and was Nestor Cortez, but now to agree like Manny Banuelos, Clark Schmidt, maybe even Davey Garcia, the ability to throw multiple innings is going to be a valuable asset for the Yankees because the way, I mean, even the way I look at it, you, you, if you can get through a good four, Severino, or maybe even a five, let's just say four, you bring in one of these guys for maybe three innings and then you can go to the bullpen for two innings. Instead of using six or seven relievers after a you know, short outing, utilizing these long relief guys can be valuable weapons on a regular basis. And we have enough of them right now um, who can serve that purpose and help continually help the starters build up their arm strength, build up their innings and their pitch counts over the next month. That's one reason why the roster is at 28. It looks like it's, I'm guessing probably Ron Marinaccio, Manny Benuelos, or somebody like that, or Manny Benuelos, and, and either Davey or Clark Schmidt are probably going to make the rotate uh, the 28 man um, coming up to the Bronx. So adding two pitchers would be a valuable thing. And Manny Benuelos has been throwing really well. If you can get two or three good innings out of him on a regular, a somewhat regular basis, that protects some of these pitchers who either cannot get through five on a regular basis or that are still building up their arm strength like Montgomery and Cole. So you guys let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because this type of stuff, these type of conversations I like to have, and I don't want you to miss out on it. I want you to participate in it, whether it's on the live stream or here in the comments or whatever. Um, and hit the notification if you want to see regular videos too. But And I don't think the Yankees are done. I do think they're going to make one more move. And obviously the more important move is to extend Aaron Judge. And there was a couple of days left, essentially three days left before opening day, and he wants a deal done by then. So hopefully that happens. And I've said it repeatedly, don't lowball, don't lowball the man with your offer. Otherwise, he's going to have to reject it. So it's just don't lowball your franchise guy. So but let me know what you think of the importance of, of long relief guys and who you would have at long relief. Because I initially had Luis Severino as long relief if they added a second uh, like starter. Let's just say Kyle Hendricks from the Cubs, a guy who can throw regular innings. Um, you know, I, But Luis Severino is obviously going to be in the rotation. And one reason, in my opinion, that they they not only improved the defense in the infield, and brought in more ground ball relief was like they did yesterday with Miguel Castro, adding to Clay Holmes and some of the other guys and improving the defense at, behind the plate, a catcher, significantly is because, uh, uh, obviously, because they weren't going to be bringing in any big bats or maybe even a big pitcher. So maybe they're trying to turn, you know, they're trying to induce more ground balls. So the focus might now have to be from, uh, you know, move from producing more runs in certain situations to preventing them in other situations. So, so it might be a little different emphasis with this team, but let's get into it, guys. Let's talk about it. 